Hello and welcome back to my desk. I've come home from holiday to some new toys and a couple of subscription boxes to open. And today we're doing the stationery selection box and really looking forward to this box. So a couple of sneak peeks online. And we're also came home to a new microphone. So hopefully my sound is a little bit better, no longer coming through just the phone. So let's get this started. A little bit of a rough and ready setup still for the camera. Um, I wasn't bothered setting up the tripod today and I do believe there is a very small fruit fly walking across the box at the moment. So that's just charming. I have split the paper so as I can get straight into it and let's have a look what we have here. So this month's theme is Duotone. Lovely. And first up of course is always the personalised envelope in which there are postcards with the artists that Spotlight Stationery is working with this month. First up is this absolutely stunning image of a swan. I think that's going to have to go on display for a while. That is absolutely beautiful. Really like that one. Next up, we have some fruits, also very lovely. Beautifully rendered in a sort of a wash of ready pink. A nice little wash rendering, perhaps some pen there as well of the Empire State Building. Very nice. And some black cats, very cute. And as always, you get a card with the details of the young artists that Spotlight Stationery is working with this month. Now we can spy an extremely fine notebook. Let me just take this out of its plastic wrapping. I come prepared with blades now to try and make the wrapping go as quickly and that all went very well, fell on the ground. Bear with me one second. How undignified. An absolutely stunning notebook. The cover is sublime. The colour, if it's not coming through truly, is sort of an orangey terracotta red. Now this notebook is ironed, so I won't use it personally, but there is many a person in my family and friends who will be clamoring for this stunning notebook from a company that seems to be Ola. I'm not familiar with them. Let's see what the sheet says. An Ola notebook. Ola is the British brand established in 2013. Huh, I would have assumed they were. Spanish with a name like Ola. And the very next thing that catches my eye, stunning, absolutely stunning, I know exactly who I'm going to send this to or gift this to. Um, it is a hair, it is die cut paper card. Very, very lovely, like that a lot. And a second die cut card, let's see what we have. <gasps> a moth, isn't that wonderful? And I think who, I know who might like that as well. Now let's see what we have here. Go away, little fly, you're annoying me. It mentioned a Ola pencil. I think this might be it. Very nice, duotone, of course, being the theme. Uh, gray and orange, if that's not coming out on camera. Two more pens, including a little pocket pen. That is just adorable, giving me sort of 1930s vibes with that very sort of pale green color there at the top and the sort of white bottom sort of uh, reminds me of okay, kind of a Bakelite vibe. And another one here, this one giving me more sort of 1970s caravan type vibe, but go both great pens. Another pencil, can't go wrong with too many pencils. This actually is square. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make that out. It is a square design, yellow and blue. And the manufacturer is Bassett and B, or Bastet and B, sorry. And the little notepad, can never have too many sticky pads. I was just away on holiday and purchased some sticky notepads and I'll share those in another video. 
So I have to say this month's box, extremely well curated, very much in my wheelhouse. Stunning, stunning cards. Really, very. Let's see if we can read about those. Portico Designs cards. Beautifully intricately cut out designs and a pattern on the inside of the envelope. Yes, the pattern is quite lovely on the inside of the envelope. And the Kickerland pens, little and large. 50s retro style, yes, yeah. I mean, they would be very 50s, as I say, particularly the cream, uh, bl yellowy cream and blue one there, the larger one. Uh, but this one very much giving me even sort of vibes of 1930s col colorways. So they're quite lovely. Great, okay, uh, short and sweet this time. Lovely box and uh, certainly many a friend and family coming in for some little gifty-poos there. So I shall see you next time. Thanks.